Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It's Minister Paul coming to you from Southern California. It is 621 uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Just want to do a quick update. Um, the next service starts at 7. It's powerful. And freely I have received, freely give. I want you to know, look, I came down here for everybody within the sound of my voice. I didn't come down here for myself. I, I came down here to get refreshed and renewed why so I can pour out that's that's what ministry is about so I'm just gonna teach you for one thing the fire of God is upon uh, <clears throat> the bride the fire of God we are living in a pitch you gotta get this in your spirit tonight 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 <clears throat> we are living in a spiritual world and uh, I want, I want to make a, a, a point of this one thing in particular. You know, I, I did have a dream last night, and there was a, some type of entity, and I've gotten several messages on it of confirmation that they've seen the same thing. This particular entity had control of at least three spirits. Uh, so, <clears throat> um, evil spirits. There was adultery and lust and... Um, I'm not sure of the third one offhand, but uh, it, it, wa it wasn't just one spirit. It was, <laughs> I don't know what it was, and it, I don't really care. What The main point I want to drive home tonight, on Friday night, from Southern California, that there's that we live in a spiritual world, and there's some battles that we are battling that we don't have to fight because God already won those battles. Satan already defeated. Uh, uh, he's already defeated. He's lost. He, he, his, he, God knows the, the end from the beginning. And so, what I want to make it very crystal clear, listen, saints, because I love you with all my heart. God knows. There was no fear. The, you see, you see, the reason why I have this picture up right here, I used to fear a lot of things. And, and this young man right here with the yellow flower on, that's my nephew. Um, he lost his mother and father and grandfather, and I didn't think he'd make it. Um, look at, do you see the, 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 he met this girl, and she changed his whole life, and this is me, I married them. And I just wanted to, sh to give you hope that this is me, and she's looking at me with sincere love. I performed a wedding under God and entered my nephew into covenant my because God knew the end from the beginning you're looking at a man on the right there who couldn't uh who 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 <laughs> used to serve satan what you're seeing right here is God knowing exactly what he was doing so i want to let you know and my uh, god knows your your end from your beginning too and he and why you go through these things you got to understand there's some battles you don't even have to fight like when that thing was in my room last night i want you to know for the first time ever in my life uh being confronted by that much there was no fear Remember I said there's a spiritual shift, and I want to try to make this quick because i got to get back down there. Do you know why? God is taking me to a position where I can control fear rather than control fear. Uh, rather than fear controlling me. I'm going to say that again. God is in this spiritual shift that is coming upon us in these last times. You know, in the natural, it's getting ready to be fall. What is fall? It's harvest season. Hallelujah. Well, in the spirit realm, we're also in the end time harvest season. we got three months left of this year. And you know what? God is going to take you to a place Wherever you're at right now is exactly where God, uh, God wants you to be because he knows your end from the beginning. He promises that. Stand on that. Don't let uh, fear control you. It's time for us to become the warriors uh, and mighty men and women that God has called us to be. And instead of letting fear run our lives, uh, <clears throat> we, we control fear. We conquer fear because we know who we are in Christ Jesus. I mean, look at that. I'm a living testimony right here of going from uh, at age 15 sleeping on a bench to a minister of the gospel marrying uh, my nephew and uh, being married 17 years. You know why? Because God knew. And you know, everybody lift your hands up and just say this out loud. Confess it. There's something about confessing this word with your mouth. Uh, God isn't finished with me yet. 
I, I refuse to uh, to let fear control my life in the name of Jesus. God isn't finished with me yet. Let's go to some scriptures real quick. You ready? This is titled Submission. You ready? I'm going to title this video Submission. I'm going to watch this. Everybody knows this scripture by heart, right? It says, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Do you know how many people on YouTube right now in the sound of my voice, or even people that don't ever come to my channel, they're rebuking the devil, they're resisting the devil, they're fighting with the devil, and you know what? He's not fleeing. I'm going to give you revelation knowledge right now on 626, and you know, as I like barely have enough time to eat. You know why? They're not submitting. They forgot the first part. This is what we need to do. This is what I'm doing down here in Southern California. I'm sitting, I'm submitting myself to God. Everybody say submission. The devil ain't never going to flee from you. You can resist all you want and you can rebuke all you want. If you ain't submitted to God, do you catch that? That's why he's not fleeing. And you know what's going to come? Fear. But see, I came down here in submission to God to get refilled up so I can pour out. That's what I want to do. I want to pour out. But you got to spend some time with God. See, what I'm doing down here is I'm spending some time with God. And he is filling me up like a water pot. And I'm overflowing. And so now what am I? And what's he filling me up with? His word. And it shall not return void. So let's go. When we, I'm, I'm going to do more on the fast. I got like 30 questions on the fast. We are going to fast. And you know what we're going to do during this fast? We're going to submit ourselves to a holy sovereign God who knows the end from the beginning. And he's going to take us higher in him. And then the devil's going to get to fleeing. And the fear is going to go. And we're going to control that fear. And it'll never control us. I got to, I got to reach somebody. This is what I'm talking about right here. Go to Isaiah 46, 9. I'll try to put links if I can. Remember the former things of old. For I am God and there's none else. Look, I am God and there's none like me. There, there's no one like this holy God. He created everything. He even created the devil you're trying to fight. The devil would have you believe that he can make you sick. Let me tell you something. You, at the root cause of sickness is sin look we we are not in a battle with Satan God and Satan are in a battle that Satan already lost we don't have to battle Satan we do not I'm gonna say that again we do not have to battle Satan that's not our job we're to just submit to God and 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 uh, because uh, here it is, look, because uh, we stand on the promises of Jesus Christ who already defeated Satan. So why are we, why are we fighting him? I'm just looking at my, my notes. It says, we are living in a spirit world. Sickness wasn't created by Satan. It comes from the curse of sin. So to that, so what Satan did was he, con he, he, uh, he uh, created a conspiracy to convince the world that he can control you through fear and lies. It's a conspiracy that he can make you sick and kill you, but not if you submit to God. He has no control over you. You, God says, don't, you know, look, he says, I'm God. He even created the, the devil. He, de he, de he declared his final place that he's going to end up to. Look at God declares the end from the beginning and from ancient times the things that are not yet done. See, he's not done with you yet, saints, saying, my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure. That's, that's God talking to you. One more scripture. Hebrews 11. See, everybody always reads like 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. But let's get some meat. Anybody want some meat? By faith, the walls of Jericho fell down after they were compassed about seven days. By faith, the harlot Rahab perished not. She didn't die with them that believed not when she had received the spies with peace. See, by faith. And, and, and here it is. And what shall I, what shall I say? <laughs> what else can I say to you guys? 
for the time would fail me to tell you of Gideon and of Barak and Samson and Jephthah and of David and Samuel and of the prophets who, watch this, 33, 1133, who through faith subdued kingdoms, they wrought righteousness, obtained promises, and stopped the mouth of lions. My goodness, saints, if you only knew what God had planned for you, and if you could stand on this promise that God has to, uh, purposed your destiny, he's, he's purposed where you're going to end up, if you would just have faith in him, if you would just make this, this three-day fast, you don't even have to wait till tomorrow, you could just submit to God right now, I'm submitting to God right now. And I'm going to submit to him every day. And you know what? He's going to work out the end. Because he knows the end from the beginning. Oh, I'm just on fire, saints. And I'm going to try to do another one. I just wanted to get this up real quick. To let you know the devil is a liar. He's a defeated foe. Uh, you don't have to let fear run your life. You can receive your healing right now. There's healing in the air. There's a virtue. Jesus already created healing virtue but when he rose up off the cross, everybody say, I'm healed by his stripes. So when you go to God, you can say, hey, God, it's me. You said in your word, by his stripes, I'm healed. You say in your word that you know the end from the beginning. You say in your word that I don't have to fear. You say in your word you didn't give me a spirit of fear. Start telling God what he's already promised. Remind him of his promises. Stand on his promises. And then submit to him. And you watch fear go. And you will sleep in peace. And you will a revival will begin to kindle in your spirit. And every demon in hell will go and leave where they're supposed to be. But let's get the submission part down instead of rebuking all this stuff let's let's submit to God and let Jesus Christ fight our fight for us because he called us and the devil would have you believe that you're all under this attack because you're doing something wrong you're doing everything right don't fight the devil step out of the ring high five Jesus and say it's for this reason the son of man was manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil I'll be on here all night if I don't quit hallelujah thank you Jesus we praise you Lord your word will not return void I declare that everybody within the sound of my voice is healed set free delivered that you are putting things in motion that they're human mind can't even imagine and it's just because I believe in your word I believe in your word and I stand on your promises you said that I can go boldly to the throne of grace to obtain your mercy I, I declare peace and shalom over the people that hear this we're gonna consecrate a fast for three days just to submit to you God we love you we praise you we worship you let revival begin in the name of Jesus we're not begging Christians. We're, we're standing on what God already said he'd do. Amen. God bless y'all. Really. And when I say God bless you, everybody say, look, I'm all blessed. I'm blessed in the city. I'm blessed in the field. I'm blessed when I come. I'm blessed when I go. I won't fear. I'm going to submit to God. And then the devil's just going to flee. But first, let me get into submission to God. And I'll be the first one to tell you, I was pouring out so much that I didn't really spend a lot of time with God. I was spending time uh, preaching about Him. And now I'm getting refilled. His fire is just resting upon me. And it's tangible. The anointing is tangible. And I'm pouring it out to you. If you are willing to believe that God says that that can happen, then you can receive your miracle tonight. Submit to God. Submit to God because he knows your end from the beginning. And and the devil is a liar. Peace. I'm about ready to go into some serious intercession down there. And I and you watch things begin to change in your life as you submit to God and realize who you are in Christ Jesus. Dominion, power, and authority. Amen.